Okay, so what do we need? We need a compatible wireless router and a free DotSpot account. And we're going to follow these three easy steps right here on the home page. And we're going to start with step number one, create a free account. If you haven't done so already, let's do it now. Let's accept the uh, terms of the license agreement. And then let's put in your email. Let's choose a password. Um, check if you want to be a DotSpot manager or not. And let's register. Here we are. Um, validation email has been sent. Let's check my email. Oh, there it is. Let's open it. Let's click on the activation link, which activates it. Um, click on the link that it gives you. And here we are back at the login page. Um, this is a little bit different than the registration page. This one will actually log you into the control panel. So let's go ahead and log into the control panel. And here we are um, at the landing page of the software and it's prompting us to add a hotspot. And it's prompting us to do this because um, the software needs a unique identifier before all the features and controls will work. So let's do that first. So if you're ready or not, it doesn't matter. We can change all this information later. So here we are. And this is going to be a public hotspot. And here it is in the region of North America and United States, Colorado, English. Let's continue. Um, this could be anything. I'm put the mountain bay. This could be anything. Just going through this real quick just to kind of show you how it's done. I recommend choosing the right options, but I'm not going to do it. So here we are, here's our hotspot. And from here we can we can change it by going to hotspot profile if you want to, and everything you just added you can change. Um, you can add another hotspot if you upgrade your license. Uh, you can also access all the hotspot controls. You can increase your limit. You can delete your hotspot. But what we're interested in is getting the information for our router. And we can access all the controls with this link here or these links here. I'm going to go to router config. And here's all the information that we're going to need to configure our router. So have this available and we are going to go next to the home page where there's information about setting up your router. Okay, so let's go back to the home page.